our reading this morning, this is the Sunday of, of joy, by the way. And so our reading this morning comes from Isaiah 9, verses 2 and 6 to 7. A very familiar passage to many of us. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. I have to do it with matches, so we'll see how that goes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I get I should be a preacher, not a candle lighter. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. It is so good to be celebrating the Sunday of joy. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this time of joy. Thank you so much that even though this Christmas season, this Advent season is so different from any in our memories, it is nonetheless a season of joy. That even those who live in the land of darkness, who walk in the land of shadows, even we can see the great light of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Father, we pray that whatever darkness we have been walking in, whether it is the darkness of fear, or whether it is the darkness of sadness and sorrow, or whether it is the darkness of our own sin and self-deception, or darkness of pride, Lord, whatever darkness we have been walking in, help us, O oh God, to turn away from the darkness and to turn to your light. Lord, that whatever our external circumstances may be, that we would be filled with the joy of your presence. That we would consider it all joy whenever we face trials in this world. Because you, O oh God, are our Savior. And you are familiar with with our suffering and grief. And you promise through your Son that all will be made well. Father, you are good. We praise you, O oh God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, great three in one. Amen. Amen.